So this is the front page of the project. At first you will write your school's name, then session, then mathematics project, then you need to write your name here, then class, then your roll number and the topic. That means in which topic you are doing this project. So here the topic is circle. So this is the complete project. So you can see this is the content of this project. Page number one, circle point. So this is the circle. Here, a circle is the collection of all those points in a plane whose distance from a fixed point remains constant. So this is the fixed point and OP distance and OQ distance both are same. A fixed point is called the center of the circle. So here O is the center of the circle and the constant distance is known as the radius of the circle. That means here OP and OQ both are the radius of the circle. Here radius R equal to OQ and equal to OQ that means both distance will be same. The general, in general, all the radii of the circle are equal. Radii is the plural form of radius. Okay. Page number two. Interior and exterior of a circle. So this is the circle. So let us consider A, circle with center O. So O is the center of the circle and radius R. So OA is the radius of the circle. The circle divides the plane containing it into three parts. Point number one. The part of the plane consisting of those points P for which OP less than R. That means OP distance less than R distance, radius R is called the interior of the circle. That means interior part means inside part is called the interior part. Point number two, the part of the plane consisting of those points P for which OP equal to R, that means OP distance and radius both will be same, is called the is called circle itself. Point number three, the part of the plane consisting of those points P for which OP greater than R, that means OP distance is more than the radius R is called the exterior of the circle. Exterior means outside part of, of the circle. That means outside part of the circle is called the exterior part. Clearly, the circle is the boundary of its interior part. Page number three, diameter of a circle. So this is a circle. A line segment passing through the center of the of a circle and having its end points. So A and B are the end points of the circle on the circle is called the diameter of the circle. That means here AB is the diameter of the circle. Clearly, diameter equal two into radius. Why two into radius? Because OA distance and OB distance both are same and these are the radius. If we join these two lengths, so we will get AB. So AB is the diameter of the circle. That's why this is the formula type. Page number four, chord of a circle. A line, a line segment with its end points lying on a circle is called a chord of the circle. That means here AB and CD both are chord. In the given figure, AB is a chord of the circle with center. So here O is the center. Clearly the diameter CD, so CD is also, CD is the diameter here of a circle is its largest chord. That means that if any chord passing to the center, so that is that will be the diameter of the circle and this diameter of the circle is called the largest chord of this circle. Page number 5, second of a circle. A line passing through a circle and intersecting the circle at the two points, that means here C and D, these are the two points, intersecting points, is called a second of the circle. That means CD is the second of the circle. In the above figure, CD is a second of the circle with center O. That means O is a center of the circle. Page number 6. Circumference of a circle. The perimeter of a circle is called its circumference. In other words, the length of the boundary of the interior of a circle is its circumference. That means outer length of the circle is called the circumference of the circle. Page number 7. Segments of a circle. A chord AB of a circle divides the circular region into two parts. That means AB divides here is the part and here is the colored part. Each part is called a segment of the circle. That means this one is the segment and here is the another segment. The segment containing the center, so here is the center and here is the segment part of the circle is called the major segment. This is the, means the maximum part is here showing, so that's why it is called the major segment. The segment not containing the center of the circle, so you can see in this part there is no center, so this is called the minor segment. Minor means less part and this is the more part. Page number 8, semicircle. The end points of a diameter of a circle into two equal parts. Each part is called a semicircle. So this is the semicircle. This is the colored part and this is the non not colored part. A diameter of a circle divides the circular region into two equal parts. Each part is called a semicircular region. So that means this part and this part is called the two semicircular region. Page number nine. Arc. Any part of a circle is called an arc of the circle. In the given figure, the arc ACB, that means ACB, has been shown by the thick part. So this is the thick part and denoted by ACB. So this is the arc symbol. If the arc of a circle is greater than a semicircle, is called a major arc. That means here in this figure, A, D, B, so this is the major arc. If the arc of the circle is less than a semicircle, 
it is called a minor arc that means here acb these are less than the semicircle so this is called the minor arc page number 10 sector of a circle the area bounded by an arc and the two red d joining the end points of a arc of the arc with the center is called the is called a sector so this is the one sector and this is another sector if the sector is formed by a major arc that means adb adbo this is called the major sector if the sector is formed by a minor arc that means acb is a minor arc is called the minor sector that means here o a c b o this part color part is called the minor sector of this circle page number 11 concentric circle two or more circles with the same center are called concentric circle so you can see here total three circles blue color yellow color and the green color there are total three circles are there and they are having only one center so these are called the concentric circle acknowledgement i would like to express my special thanks or gratitude to my mathematics teacher that means you will write your mathematics teacher name as well as our principal that means you will write your principal's name school's principal name who gave me the golden opportunity to do this wonderful project on the topic circle secondly i would also like to thank my parents and friends who helped me a lot in finalizing this project within the limited time frame i am making this project not only for marks but is but to also increase my knowledge thanks again to all who helped me we'll arrange all of these pages according to their page number so then after that So this is the complete project, thank you everyone, give a like.